What's up guys, Aida Bice Help here, and today in this video, as promised, I'm going to be sharing with you guys any performance enhancements with iOS 10 and Beta 2 running on the iPhone 5. I did a Beta 1 video on the iPhone 5, and this Beta 2 is a follow-up to see if the performance is actually increasing, and I have some great information and interesting information for you guys. Now before I talk about the iPhone 5 and the interesting news I found out about the iPhone 5 with iOS 10, I want to go ahead and jump here to the iPhone 6S Plus and cover some of the other features that I missed to talk about yesterday's coverage here it is display and brightness we have a new option or not a new option it has been relocated the auto lock option so now it is available through there you no longer have to go through general and where it used to be there now it is over here so that's a cool addition there so you can get access to that rather quickly now you also have under the maps application options inside of the settings application you have the ability to show the parking location of your vehicle now this does require a bluetooth connected unit from your car to the device or an apple carplay supported unit as well and it'll track the location of your parking so that's a very welcome addition as well to ios 10. now if we jump over to the generals tab and scroll down to the accessibilities and home button options we also have a new rest to unlock so basically using touch id just like ios 9 we can rest our fingers to unlock the device but unlike ios 9 ios 10 does not unlock your device completely so if i tap and hold or if i rest my finger on the unlock take a look at the status bar it says unlocked so the device is currently unlocked right now so if i just press on it it'll bring me back to the home screen in ios 9 of course all we have to do is rest and it will unlock and go through the animation and bring you to the home screen. Another option was inside of the messages application. If we scroll down, we now have the option to choose low quality image inside of messages. This will help with this storage on your device. If you get a lot of pictures from someone or send a lot of pictures, you don't have the highest quality of the image taking up all that space on your device. You can always remove the message, but this helps on the moment when you get that image so it doesn't take as much space on your device. Now back to the iPhone 5 and what I was talking about earlier. I ran a quick Geekbench test here on the device. Here it is, the single core score of 700 on iOS 10 Beta 1. If we go to Beta 2, it drops about a point, not a biggie. Uh, Multi-core score is 1259 and then slightly higher, 1262 on the second Beta. Now, what I wanted to talk about was that the performance, believe it or not, on the iPhone 5, it's a lot better than it is on an iPhone 6S, 6, 6 Plus, or 6S Plus. It is very glitchy on the iPhones that are newer, and on the older iPhone, at least on my experience, it's a lot faster. It feels just very smooth. Everything is flowing so nicely on the iPhone 5. Very, very surprised. As you can see here, the performance just blazing right through. And again, this is beta 2 running on the iPhone 5, so the performance on older devices, great, great news for you guys. It is better right now than it is on the newer devices. I don't know if that has anything to do with Apple adding so many features to the newer devices and slowing them down but at least in terms of the iPhone 5 I can say that the performance feels a lot better and the experience is a lot better than it is on an iPhone 6S or 6S Plus. And this was a quick video about everything that you guys were asking about, everything that's changed. Of course, stay tuned to the channel. I'll be covering again in the future as more betas become available on the iPhone 5 and older devices to see the performance. Great news so far. And that about brings it into the video, guys. If you enjoy the content, like always, don't forget to click that like button. Much more videos coming your way. Be sure to stay tuned. It's been iDevice Help. I hope you guys have a great day. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.